Well, good morning, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Scottsville. We're um, racing at uh, uh, Mother City today, Sunday, the 3rd of September, and uh, Pentrometer 22-23 around the back. Good going, 5-metre false rail. Been a bit of rain in KwaZulu Natal, so um, this will be perfect going and should be very good racing. A couple of weak races, but uh, the majority look very competitive indeed. Let's start off with race one. 12.40, this is a three-year-old maiden plate, 1,200 metres. And really, you looked at the race, you think Shep, the Shepherd's absolutely home and host. But have a very close look at Run to Rio, improved remarkably between his first and second run. And on that run, we'll give the Shepherd something to think about. Flight Path didn't run a bad first run, that might improve. Um, and uh, uh, none of the others make any appeal whatsoever, ex unless there's a springer in the market, watch the bidding, but the initial bidding shows nothing, heroic powers the shortest of the first timers. Race 2, uh, merit rated handicap, 1000 metres, and I'm going with Prince Kresh to at last get it right. He loves the course and distance. He loves everything about it. They put the blinkers on. Muzi obviously said they put the blinkers on. He looked to win the last time, got run out of it. So you look at the field that he's taking on. Super fast, that might improve. Valiente seems better on the on the um, poly. Stanley Park got to have a big chance because it won and got a penalty, but it gets a four kilogram claimer. Phyllis Beal and Glenn C. Vista, the two Roberts horses, both got chances. And Quest for the best, ignore his last one run, this is third run after arrest. So, tough second race. And that's your um, bipod I'm putting in the whole lot. Race three, maiden plate, 1,400 metres. Uh, Kumamori, to me, looks a standout. Uh, drawn two, Magudwa gets to ride it for the golf puller stable. Very good form, seems to be improving, and I like a lot about him. Helsinki, this will improve. Um, Rachel gets the leg up, but M Muzi rode it last time, and he's riding El Drac. So that shows you number six, El Drac, must come into the running. Neither his last run might improve. Master Fuega ran on extremely well, and Magic Prince, number nine, didn't do badly either. So uh, apart from um, Kumamero, there are a number that have got chances, and even King of Queen will go in well too. So I'm putting in three or four. First leg of the pick six. Um, race four, maiden plate, 1750. And um, Mike Miller will never have a better chance of winning a race. He's got the two top of the boards. Uh, 99 heroes beat Billy of T last time, but Billy of T came from a hopeless position. And um, now Tristan Godden gets the ride on Billy of T. I'm going with him as the right one of the two Miller inmates, but who knows? They're both owned by the same ownership. And um, only the betting will tell you. They know. Race five, Mary rated handicap, Phillies and Mare, 1750. And uh, I'm going with the next Miller inmate, African Beat 1. I think this is absolutely primed. Two very good runs, looks absolutely ready. Or draw one, all Gordon's got to do is just sit it in behind the pace and let it go, it should win. Blazing Kiss, very good form. Got two points for running uh, second last time, that doesn't help it. Because um, you'll see the horse that beat at Reckless Love got six points. And this might be too short for Reckless Love. I think she needs more ground than the 1750. Uh, she's going to need a really good pace to be able to win this one. Spring Kiss might improve. That's number eight. And um, Diana the Huntress, second run after the rest, that might improve as well. So apart from having beat there, a number of them have got chances. Race six, 1200 meter, fillies and mares. Uh, and uh, here we're going for the Sean Terry and mate uh, American Graffiti. I think there's a bank on the day. It looks like it absolutely primed for a race like this. Gets um, weight from Bomber Girl, both three-year-olds, and I'm not sure that American Graffiti is not better than Bomber Girl or will be down the line. Sweet Symphony, uh, got three-point penalty. That might improve, but they look like their main ones. Race seven, Pinnacle Stakes, 1,200 meters. And I was with Master, Mr. Master Starter last time. It looked like he'd win, turned up to toes. I think this horse needs a set of blinkers, but I'm going to give him another chance today because this race is very, very competitive. Captain Bombshell, third run after the rest. Um, Faree gets aboard it. He rode at the time before last when it won, beat Money Heist. That's good form. 
goes well here. Seeking the stars. Well, he'd been running in stronger uh, stuff than this, number 12. He's the highest merit rated horse and the best weighted horse in the race. Um, he runs on. He's got to have a chance. He ran behind uh, Isi Vungu Vungu and Give Me a Prince, probably the two best sprinters in South Africa. And um, not that far behind him. So he's uh, to, packed with classes, um, six-year-old entire. Uh, he could go very well here. The, another class horse of the race is Royal Victory, but I think it's short for him. He's probably getting ready for later on in the season. R uh, Pray for Rain, worth including um, Carl Hewitson's runner number seven. He's won his last two pretty well. Done a good job with this horse. Race eight, merit rated handicap. They go 19.50 and... I find this extremely difficult. In analysing the collateral form, I came up with Rodriguez. Um, I thought he was unlucky last time. Uh, from a bad draw, he's drawn better this time. The stable's in hot form. This horse could go very well. Winter Royale might be a bit of a danger. This horse is of such a low merit rating. He's only had 12 runs, Winter Royale, and he's a six-year-old. Obviously packed with problems, but he's got 53. Daniels puts up a kilo overweight. Bay, Bayview Express, have a look at him. He loves this course, um, and Kamalo gets a leg up, but the draw is a bit of a concern, so he's worth thinking of as well. And the other um, runner that's got a chance is um, the four kilogram claimers, Mount number four, Papa C. Kashkaval throws pace as well. So, as you can see, tough, tough racing. Uh, not going to be easy to find winners, but I've uh, ascertained that a few of them look like standouts, and I'm going to go with them and take my chances. From me, James Goodman, the whole Little Bit team, have a great day at Scottsville.